This is the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series, 7995, sorry, 7559 model here. Uh, I've just completed the review video. Click somewhere around here to watch that. But while we've got the device, it makes sense to show you the inside of it because it is one of the main features here and it's a really really simple operation I'll show you uh, how to open that and what's inside so it's a really simple operation to open this I'm just using a Phillips number zero here there's one screw at the top of the back undo that so it clicks it won't come all the way out and that's it. it's as simple as that You'll be able to take the back off, and this is one of the real advantages of the Inspirons uh, 157000, is you've really got access to everything, and it's nicely laid out, and even labelled as well, to the point where there's a warning here that you can only put in DDR3 uh, memory. Let's just go a bit closer in, and I'll show you uh, some of the parts of the internal. On the bottom right, we've got uh, a SATA, a 7mm, 2.5 inch drive, so that'll be a standard uh, two and a half millimeter drive, but it's seven millimeter, so it's not uh, standard nine millimeter. So be careful of the of the height there. Whether there's another a couple of milli millimeters you could squeeze in there, maybe one millimeter, but I don't think uh, you'd get a nine millimeter in there. In addition to the SATA drive, we've got an M2 port here, which has got a 128 gig uh, M2 SATA drive in it. This is 120, I think it's 120 millimeter length there. I'm just looking over for a, a measurement. Oh wait, that's handy. Let's just to double check that. Oh, this is not uh, 80 millimeter. Sorry about that. That's an 80 millimeter M2 SATA drive. So you've got both. You can put the operating system on this one and this is a one terabyte storage here. Down here we've got the 74 watt hour. It's a non-replaceable from external battery, but of course from the internals it should be fairly easy to unplug that and uh, pull that one out. Up here you've got two slots for DDR3. Uh, we've got the full 16 gigs of RAM in here. Over here we've got uh, an AC Wi-Fi uh, port uh, that's a dual channel uh, Intel AC Wi-Fi and then you've got the two speakers here. Just down here, let's zoom in on that, bass. It's a bass speaker. Well, I don't know really if you can call that a bass speaker. It's no bigger than a, a headphone speaker, but it does give out a surprisingly full sound. It's certainly not bass, but it's a, a good mid-range. Um, well, the only thing is when you turn it up uh, loud, it starts to rattle the, the, the casing around a bit. So uh, make sure that casing is on tightly. Uh, and if you do hear other bits of rattling, you might want to track that down and put some pieces of paper or shims in there to keep that all nice and tidy. So that's it then, that's the internals of the Dell Inspiron, sorry what was that? You want me to take that drive out? You want me to take that drive out? Ah, oh, come on, let's have a look at that. Um, how do we get this out? It's not a simple slide operation. Not a lift operation, there's a case there and I think we've got four screws here. And we should be able to lift it out, so I'm just going to do one three four unfortunately that's magnetic screwdriver tip helps here and that should just lift up like that and then you'll be able to pull that SATA cable off. So there you go. There is the 7mm. Does it say 7mm on the side? No, it doesn't say 7mm. But uh, that is the 7mm SATA hard drive. It's a terabyte uh, hard drive in the Dell Inspiron 15 7000. Um, the M2 SATA drive over the other side there. That comes out with one screw on the top and that will flip up. You'll be able to pull that out. Most of you will know how to get uh, DIM modules out by just pulling those clips on the side and they'll pop up as well. The battery looks like this cable needs to come out. One, two, three, four, five screws and then that'll be done. And then 
what else is there? Yeah, the Wi-Fi card is the only other thing, and that's a single screw. That's like the M2 SATA drive. Just undo, undo that screw, and it will uh, just pop up. And you better uh, just pop off the antenna connectors there, and um, they are not soldered on. They are actually um, they are actually just little pop-off uh, clip connectors. And that is it. Let's get the back the back back on and. Um, just make sure that's nice and tightly fitted all the way around. That should clip in the side as well at the bottom. Ah, that's it. You need to push that down into the bottom side before you before you clip that all the way around the side. And that looks like it's a better fit now. There we go. And then. A single screw. That is one of the nicest access ports I've seen on a laptop for a very long time. Nice, tightly laid out. Really well done, Dell. The Inspiron 15 7000 7559. Check out the full review of this on the website and the video review by clicking here on the YouTube video. Thanks for watching.